What's up comic creators? In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to do uh, export settings uh, for YouTube and uh, basically for any kind of video project you have going on. This will uh, pretty much be a basic uh, tutorial for that. So to get started, what you have to do is go to the top right hand corner of your project file with a blue button that says export. Go ahead and click that and you'll see the menu options pop up for the type of export that you want to do. Now the first two options that pop up in this uh, export menu, uh, the, the top one is just simply the title of the video, what the video is going to be titled when you export it uh, out of CapCut. Uh, and then obviously the second option is the uh, destination to where you're going to send this video file to uh, on your device or wherever you're saving it. And so you just click that little file icon on the right hand side uh, and that will open up the finder for you to uh, select where you want to send the video once you export it from CapCut. One important thing to remember as we continue through the rest of these settings is that the desire here is to set each setting to meet or match the closest uh, setting you had when filming your project, whether it was on your phone or your camera. Uh, and you know, just give you an example here, this top line where it allows you to adjust the quality of your footage. Um, if you filmed in 1080, setting it to 4K is not going to make your video better. All that's going to do is actually make your video file larger and take up more unneeded space uh, within your uh, computer or device, wherever you're uh, saving this to. So you want to set it to what you actually captured the footage at um, in order to best meet the, the needs for exporting your video project to make it look the best. That being said, for the next two lines, bitrate and codec, um, unless you actually understand what those are, um, then uh, I would leave those at where they're set recommended and whatever the auto setting is on it uh, it's not important enough to really have a dramatic effect on your video quality or anything like that uh, so unless you have a deep understanding of what that is just let that be um, and whatever it's set at is going to be fine for the video you're creating for format you're going to want to select uh, mp4 for max and the dot move file if you're working on a windows for frame rate you're going to want to select uh, whatever it is you captured uh, the original footage at changing that now is not going to help your project at all um, so you want to stick with whatever the original capture rate is for the best uh, export of of your media file on the cover uh, selection you uh, want to select with cover if you used cap cuts feature to create a thumbnail for your video uh, if you didn't it's fine to go ahead and say without cover once that's done you click the blue export button in the bottom right hand side of the menu uh, and that will export the project to where you selected the destination and at, after that's all said and done it will give you the option to straight from there upload to either TikTok or YouTube uh, if you don't want to do either of that you go ahead and click OK and that's it, you've successfully exported your project. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.